Creating and publishing Laravel package is simple. Here is how you can do it and earn money by selling a pro version of it. For example, uh, in this Facebook project, if I say PHP artisan inspire, it will give us a quote. And now if I say composer require Kumar Javi slash Rajnikant, it will pull a package which I have created. It is also a kind of a similar package to PHP artisan inspire command where if I say PHP artisan mind it, it will give me a random Rajnikant joke. And there is one more functionality to it that if I say dash L or loop, it will just keep looping through those jokes till I say no. So our intention here is to create a chatbot package. So for that, let's create a directory and name it chatbot. Now let's switch inside that directory and here let's initialize composer. So I will say composer in it and now it is asking for vendor and name. So in the vendor field, which is it is usually a best practice to give your GitHub username. So I will say the KRKV and then in the name field, I will say chatbot. Now we can leave this description field empty or I will say a basic package creation. And then what I will say is in the author field, I can just write N to skip it. And in our case, since I have to publish it and give it a demo of it in this tutorial, I will say the ARKV and my email address at the rate gmail.com and minimum stability. I do not have to provide and I will say it is a library. And then the license, I will say MIT, you can just leave this field empty and we do not have any dependency. We do not have any dev dependency. And do we want to follow the PSR for auto loading? You can read more about it or you can just leave this as it is. And now, as you can see, it is telling us that does this look fine to you? It is just giving us a basic summary of our composer.json file. So I will say yes. And after that, it will create a composer.json file. And now I will open my editor here. So before opening the editor, what I will do is I will initialize a Git repository. So for that, I will say Git in it and it will initialize an empty Git repository. So for doing that, since we have to publish this package on packages so that we can use it later on like a real package, I will say in the KRKV owner, I want to create a chatbot repository. And I will say it is public and I will just create it without any description. Now, this part is where it is telling me to add a remote origin. So I will just copy it and paste it here and it will add a remote origin. Okay, so I have not added it. So I'm adding it and now let's just commit it and now let's push. So after I push it, I should be able to see my files here inside this repository. So if I refresh it, as you can see, my files are here. Now I will open my editor here. So I will, mine is PHP Storm. So I'm opening PHP Storm here. Whatever editor you use, you can just use it. There is no advantage uh, since we are just doing a basic demo. So now it has opened my project. So now inside this src directory, I will create a new PHP class and I will call it mag rudeness and I will create a new function here. I will call it public function and I will say ask question. So the idea here is that this chatbot is very rude. So whatever question I ask, it will return the answer in a rude way by saying what do you think? Now to do further, we need to commit these changes and push it. So I will open a new terminal and I will say git add dot and it will add all my files. So as you can see, now it went to green from red and I will commit it and git push origin master and it will push my changes to the repository and now 
our package has been created and we need to use this package for testing purposes in any other project in any live or like in any local project where you can do the changes here in our package and see the output in any other project so for that what i will do is i will go back i think the font is very small so what i will do is i will go back and i will create a new laravel project composer composer create project laravel slash laravel let's call it google okay so now a new project will get created and it will be named google so we can just go inside that directory so after this let's cd to google and here i will open php storm and after php storm opens it is asking me that do you want to open in this window or new window so i will say new window so that we can make our changes in the project and see our output there so now i will open composer.json and here just below the required i will type repositories and then i will say big braces then curly braces and then the type and what type of local repository we want to load like the way composer works is that if your package is not published you can either provide a github url or a bitbucket url or any path of your local repository so i will say path and then in the url section of this i will say dot dot slash chatbot after i am done with that change i need to do one more change here i will say what is the namespace of my package which is the arkv slash chatbot and then i will say dev dash master and this dev needs to be written this is very important if you are loading any repository from github uh, which is not published on packages you will have to write this dev so uh, now that i am done with it i will go here and say composer update and if everything is fine it will look for the local package kumadavi chatbot and it will load it what we can do to test it is i will go inside the web path and let's just say that i want a chatbot object equals new max rudeness and after that i want to return chatbot and it's ask question and let's use this class okay and now if i serve this project by php serve it should give me a what do you think output now since it has given me the output which i was expecting let's make some changes from inside our local project to see it is giving us the right output i can just say what do you think user and if i go to the browser it will say what do you think user so this way i can load any local package inside any local application and then test it now uh, let's make some more changes uh, to to make it look like it is some sort of library so now what i want to do is i want to take a question as a parameter and i will return the same question along with new line where we will return the output what do you think and with that let's go back to our project and do the needed changes there so i will go here and let's take a uh, question in the query field question let's call it question and let's pass the question okay and if we have done everything right let's reload and and if i say how are you it will say what do you think 
and don't worry about the home page that is not returning anything 400 uh, because now that the url doesn't exist so if i go to the home page it will not return anything because we have changed the url path so now if i ask any question to this chatbot i will say how will be the weather today and it will say what do you think <laughs> now we have done and we are good with our changes so i will go back and go to our chat board and i will get add all the files and i will say done with the changes and now i will say git post origin master and now that we have pushed our changes we need to publish this package so as you can see this is my package namespace so let's go i am logged in with my username and password the krkv so i will go to the submit and it is asking me to give me the exact path of this repository and i will say this and say check and now it is saying the name found of your replace submit to confirm and i will submit and now our package is published let's create a new laravel application and let's name it facebook and after the project has been created since we do not have published any stable version and have not made any releases which we need to do if we want to make this a stable version so for that we can make one release so let's tag one release here let's just say v1.0 okay so publish the release and now we have it as a stable release and if i go here control x and let's go to packages and say composer require the krkv chat board and either it gives us the package installation or we will say prefer dev okay so it have given us the package and now inside our project let's go to the web route and let's just say that i do not want to make any change to default route and i want my question to be taken in the parameter and i will pass this question and then create a new chatbot object of new max rudeness and i will import it like this and then i will return chatbot ask question and the question and then if i go to terminal and say php artisan sir and open the project here it has opened our facebook project and if i go slash how are you and it will say how are you what do you think so as you can see in this tutorial we created a new package used that package locally then we went to packages and published that package and before publishing that package we created a stable release of version 1.0 which is now getting used by the packages as a stable release so this way you can also create a package and publish it and not just a public repository you can also publish a private package in packages and share with your clients now uh, there can be many use cases you can further enhance it and work more above it so for example uh, in this facebook project if i say php artisan inspire it will give us a quote and now if i say composer require kumar ravi slash rajnikant it will pull a package which i have created it is also kind of a similar package to php artisan inspire command where if i say php artisan mind it it will give me a random rajnikanth joke and there is one more 
functionality to it that if i say dash l or loop it will just keep looping through those jokes till i say no and this is also a basic package which i will talk about later on in further tutorials and show you how you can create it and how you can further enhance your package by adding whatever for use cases or functionality you want to so this was a bare minimum of package creation which you can use as a skeleton to further enhance it and you can look into any laravel package and take examples from that so you can work on your own project and create laravel packages and add further functionality to it so now that you know how the package creation works and how you can publish your package you can go to any laravel package and learn from there so for example let's say i want to look into the laravel pennant package and how it has been created uh, so it is on github here and you can open the composer.json file and learn further from it and you can create your own package and add further functionality to it based on your use cases so let's meet in the next video and talk about some other awesome laravel feature and topics thank you